What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Phil. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, Xbox. You made the right move. Oh, you made the right move. I listen, 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 listen. People have been arguing with me about this since the beginning when I said, hey, if the game could come out on the X, have the game come out on the X, delay it later for the S or whatever, right? Phil apparently spoke with the with Larian Studios or whoever it is that's make Baldur's Gate 3 and the game is going to come out. It's just going to be missing the split screen feature on the Series S. The same way that it's missing the split screen feature on the Steam Deck, unless you do something behind the scenes to get it to work on the Steam Deck. This makes total sense not only that but by, by doing this phil is literally saying hey series x owners you are not gonna be held back by the series s you won't because if they did this once and there's another game of this caliber see this that's the problem the ponies are gonna pretend like oh this opens up the plug the floodgates no it doesn't Baldur's Gate 3 is an amazing game, right? Apparently, even to the ponies that haven't played it yet because it's not even on PlayStation, right? It's an amazing game that everyone should want to at least try, right? That's what people are saying. It might even win game of the year, right? This game is amazing. Why would you not want it to be able to be played on your console when it can be played on your console the only thing that's missing is on the weaker console it can't do split screen a feature that probably 90 percent of gamers don't even use come on now especially not for a game like this split screen probably not you're probably going to be playing with other people online and stuff like that but regardless xbox did it a lot of people said to me, I was on the Risk It for the Biscuit podcast. Shout out to you guys. They said to me, uh, Doc, think about the kids. I even started singing during the podcast. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a brighter place. So let's start getting... Forget them kids. If their parents can't afford a Series X, it is what it is, dog. It is what it is. I bought my kids a Series X. And like I said on the show, my kids don't have a freaking job. So, yeah, they get the S. I get the X. If they're missing if they're missing features, oh, well. It is what it is, man. Bro, this is, this is such a W that you can't even fathom. But you're going to see the ponies try to flip this, right? One of the flips I, uh, I already saw, I already saw it coming, was people are going to say, is the game going to be priced the same? You... Purchase the cheaper console. I, I, I'll give you an example. You ready? Because they, they will never do it to Nintendo, right? If you have a Switch Lite, okay? Every single game, every single game. I want you to listen to this. Every single game doesn't rumble. Every single one. If you have a Switch Lite, every single game is not able to be played on TV. Every single game. Yet, the price is still the same. So don't do that with the S. Don't do that. You bought the cheaper console. That's what happens. You are going to get the cheaper version of the game as well. Whether it means lower resolution. Whether it means lower frames. Or sometimes, not all the time, sometimes... Certain modes might be missing because it just can't do it. Because what Microsoft is saying is we are not going to punish the Series X owner, which is what I've been trying to tell some of you guys. So I don't want to see some of you celebrate this without acknowledging that people like me were right. Shout out to Coffee Though. Coffee Though actually put me in the title. He said Doc was right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. But. A lot of you out there are going to act as if, oh, this is good, this is great. No, 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 you weren't on this bandwagon, homie. You weren't on this bandwagon. You were all about keeping the game. Why are you guys complaining? Be quiet. Stop complaining. You were the freaking problem. I'm glad Xbox didn't listen to you. They didn't listen to you. The game could have already run on the S. They had one feature that was missing. Get it out of here. 
now, now, now we're all getting it. Now we're about to have a year with Starfield coming out, which from whatever, what everyone is saying is potential game of the year, okay, as long as you don't judge it by the title screen, okay? And now we're going to have another game as well that's going to be on the Xbox platform that's also going to be a potential game of the year. Dog, we winning. And one of those games is coming on Game Pass. Starfield's on Game Pass, bro. That's... Bro, we are winning. We are winning. We are eating good. Thank you, Xbox. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, Phil Spencer, for using your head and understanding. Yes. Now, this is a small victory for Series X owners. I feel validated in my purchase. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The Series S is not going to hold me back. And now, this should be the trend, especially for games... Games that warrant it, right? If you got a little BS game or whatever, don't let them get away with it. But this game, I, could you imagine if there was a feature in Grand Theft Auto 6 that couldn't run on the Series S and they were going to try to delay it for both? Nah, homie. Nah, homie. I bet. We'll get it running on the X. The X will figure it out whenever. It's still going to come out on both consoles. You bought the cheaper console, you're going to get the cheaper experience, regardless of what that means. That's that, that 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 to me makes sense. I'm entitled to the better game because I bought the better console. Yes, I know entitled is a bad word. I know it is, but I'm just being honest with you. This is good regardless. I'm just the ponies are just so ridiculous though. Oh my god. It, 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 please please explain to me why this is bad. If you bought a series I don't know, yeah, you bought the cheaper console. The same way you bought a Switch Lite. It's a cheaper console. You're not getting any vibration on any of those, in any games. Any game. You're not connecting it to the TV on any games. And there's some games you can't even play. There's some games you can't even play. You won't dare say nothing about the Nintendo, right? Same thing with the Series S. Now, this is the first game, right? The first game, there's always a first for everything, that doesn't have system parity. And I am so... I'm so excited. Because this, even though the Series S is the console that has the, the bigger install base, this is a move to show like, hey, we do care about the X and we're not going to hold games off of the X just for the S. This does make things a lot more interesting. And if it becomes, before you say, if it becomes a situation where the S becomes obsolete, then guess what, Series S owner? You might want to upgrade to an X. And then guess what to all Xbox fans? If Series S owners start upgrading to the X and then the X somehow down the line becomes the main install base, that's a win-win regardless. That's a win-win regardless. Now, if the S continues to be the main install base and we don't get punished for that as a Series X owner, that's a win-win regardless as well. Right now, this is only a positive situation. Do not let a pony try to spin this into a negative because there's not whatever they say is completely is, is wrong is the is the game going to cost the same the nintendo switch games cost the same on the light and on the full and on the oled yes they do so shut your mouth and yes there's little there's literally parodies that are missing stuff features that are completely missing some games are reliant reliant on you being able to have that 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 feedback that vibrational feedback you're not getting it on the Switch Lite. You better figure out how to play it. <laughs> you better use in-game cues. Okay, so what are we talking about? Dog Dog went on A5. There's levels to this. I told you this was good. I told you this was good. Man, the game is still going to run. The game is still running on the S. I think if we get to a point where a game can't run completely on the S, then that's where we got a problem. But if it's a feature missing, chill. The same feature that's going to be missing from the S will be the same feature that's going to be missing from the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally because they're pretty much similar in power. Cool. I'm cool with that. Just makes sense. Doc Dog 185 is levels to this. We out. Peace.